real why of, of zero energy is the fact that you know you're getting a better building essentially. You're you're getting a building that's that is going to be designed to have better light, operate better, um, lower operating costs. So all those direct benefits are pretty pretty well understood. But the real compelling thing is it's an opportunity to think very hard about the experience of the building and think about you know how has this become a generator for bringing talent into your organization, getting attention to your organization, um, and having people kind of inspired to be part of what your mission is. A new building can essentially go straight to zero because you can, you can use the design process to set an energy target, line up a systems approach to that, and then really have the opportunity to engage with um, the tenants that are coming right in to operate the building. So you can really do that full chain of, um, of the planning and implementation in one, in, in one phase. But for an existing building, it's, it's, uh, it's more challenging, but it's a more interesting path to zero because it's a, it's a long-term planning effort. So you can basically look at what are your opportunities over time to get further and further towards that goal. An owner of a building has a number of opportunities to uh, take steps towards a zero goal um, throughout the life of a building, um, and it really happens anytime you're touching the building. The big opportunities are when the building sells or when you bring in a new tenant. Anytime someone's coming into the property, you have an opportunity to upgrade the space. There are other opportunities such as maintenance uh, and replacement of systems, and even building life safety upgrades, things like seismic upgrades or fire upgrades that need to be done. So anytime you're touching those components, that's an opportunity to say, we're gonna, we're gonna do an incremental upgrade on top of that for efficiency. You could essentially get to up to 60% energy savings, cost effectively, meeting market fundamentals of payback and return on investment, uh, if you're doing it on cycle. Putting it together with those intervention points is what makes it, makes it work. Another concept here is thinking about bundling. You could look at an individual system like an air handling unit or a furnace or a boiler and, and when is that going to die? And say, well, I'm just going to replace it with another boiler. Uh, you could look at that as a system that you're replacing, not just a component, and say like, well, if I'm going to replace my boiler, I should also be replacing my water fixtures to reduce the demand on that new boiler. So bundling is very important to, uh, to think about. What is the lifespan of my components? When are they going to have to phase out or new technology is going to have to come in? If you can plan that out 10, 20 years in advance, you can start to already look at where there are overlaps. For existing building owners, this is a huge opportunity to think about their path to zero as a way to improve their building experience, to create variation in light and temperature and really start to think about zoning your building into different different experiences, different, different uh, uh, service levels. The more you can think about the variation in those spaces, you invest only where you need those tight temperature ranges. So it's like in the, you know, where people are sitting down at their desk, you know, for long periods of time, for hours at a time, that's where you want to invest in like the, the systems that are going to hold the temperature, they're going to provide controls, they're going to do all those things that are needed. These properties that are going to become zero energy buildings or zero carbon buildings um, are going to be insulated from future risk. You know, any kind of pricing or um, you know future cost of utilities go up or future cost of even carbon comes into play. You know, the zero energy buildings are going to be insulated from those potential um, risks in the future and ultimately become more valuable properties long term.